How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and today we got not fast nor furious. Drew, what is that? Well, today we're going to be taking a look at some races, but we're not going to be taking a look at some fast cars. We are going to be looking at the other side of the spectrum. People who probably have less than 200 wheel horsepower. Hell, some of these people probably have less than 100 wheel horsepower and that's okay. These people are out there having fun with their car down in Mexico, seeing what it can do. And I would much rather see little Jimmy race his stock Ford Focus from 2003 than clap that shit out and think he's the baddest bitch in the block. So today we are going to be taking a look at JDM Overnight's second page, Slow Car Scene, guys. Go check it out. Link in the description down below. These are some hilarious races, and let's just go ahead and dive right in. First race. Talk about slow cars, okay? People, when they're talking about the lowest horsepower cars, it's always a Miata that's brought up. And this one right here, these two, I should say, pretty fucking slow. We got an M45 supercharged 3 PSI. Tuned on 91 octane. 3 PSI. I, I could blow harder than that. That sounded real sus. Let's just move on. Versus a muffler delete NA, or my bad, ND Miata. So new versus old. I mean, if I had to guess, I would assume supercharged is better than no supercharged. I'm going to go ahead, even though it's on 3 PSI. Like, uh, seriously, man, just throw a fucking blow dryer underneath there. You're doing the same shit at that point. 3 PSI. But I'm, I'm voting ND Miata. Let's take a look. For 3 PSI, that little bitch was whining more than a little girl when you don't say yes to giving her some ice cream. It didn't sound half bad, but hey look, I was right. The NB Miata with that little 3 PSI went ahead and took the dub. From a dig as well. I know those NDs aren't too slow either. They come with like 155 horsepower or something around there. And they beat stock BRZ, so they're not too slow. So beating one of those from a dig, hey man, props to you. All right, let's take a look at another race. This one just so happens to have another Miata as well. We got a stock D-Series EK versus a bolt-on NA Miata. Miata versus Civic. What you guys voting on? I mean, maybe I'm just a little biased. You know, this is the same exact car I chose in Forza Horizon 4. The second I got the game, I bought an NA Miata. I threw an LS in it in this exact color. So if it's anything like that car, it should win. But it's definitely not. So let's take a look. I'm voting on the Miata, though. <laughs> fucking damn it well i took an l just like that miata just did i guess the miata was late for a hairdressing appointment but the civic had to beat it to the fucking walmart to get that sale on the damn groceries you can't stop a civic late for his damn walmart appointment i'm sorry he already took out that two hour bracket of his day to go to walmart and you can't beat him there this miata needs to take notes from his other miata brethren and throw three psi at it because apparently that's a game changer don't fuck with a grocery getter especially when they're on their way to get groceries races like this though are honestly my favorite seeing two cars go at it and they're just like neck and neck the whole time i've said it before but these are my favorite types of races because it's all just a matter of who has the bigger balls now these two are barely breaking the speed limit so i wouldn't really say balls but whoever has the most fuel in their grocery getter will win all right next race we got a full bolt-on flash pro base map fg2 civic versus a full bolt-on soho tuned i hope that's how you say that g35 now i'd I just, I'm not a fan of Infinities. I don't like these old fuckboy ones because everyone and their mama who has one does the same shit. Flame map, and throw it on E85. This guy, you know, he's following in his brethren's footsteps and I just want to see the Civic kick its ass. That being said though, if I had to vote, I'm guessing the G35 is going to win. Let's take a look. <laughs>
Okay, so there's a couple more races. If you really want to go see them, go ahead and check them out. They're filmed the other way, so it's it's sideways on my screen. I'm not going to go ahead and... I'm too lazy to fucking look at them. Anyways, having a G35 either barely pull away or lose to a Civic, that's embarrassing alone. But then going ahead and doing some weird rolling anti-lag type of shit... When you're not even boosted, I don't know what the fuck's going on here. Is homeboy literally putting in the clutch or putting it in neutral and just revving that bitch and dumping it? You're not drifting. Like, that, that's that's not going to do much. I, I don't know what the logic is there. You're not building boost. You're not doing anything. You're not building torque. I mean, I, I don't I don't see the logic. Someone in the comments go ahead and, and explain. I just see homeboy destroying his damn transmission or his clutch. But still, took a fat L. If I lost to a Civic in my G35, the first thing I would do is put that bitch up for sale and offer up. Now, you do have some bragging points. You could say carbon fiber fenders, carbon fiber hood, but as you saw, didn't really do much to pull against the mighty VTech. So, I don't know. Just don't let them see this video because if they do, ain't nobody gonna buy that shit. Next race, full exhaust 328i versus a full exhaust S2000. 328i? Really? Like, it's a great looking car in this photo. I think it looks dope, but 328i? I I gotta say S2000 on this one. 328i's ain't shit. How in the hell is this Civic slower than Franklin the fucking turtle? How? How? Not Civic, my bad. S2000. It's moving at a Civic speed. So that's why I assumed it was a Civic. How is this S2000 that slow? Why? Oh, this is embarrassing. 328i is my homeboy. When me, when me and him worked at the dealership, he had a 328i and I had my V6 Mustang. And me and him would fuck around all the time. And it was neck and neck. So that being said, this S2000 is slower than a 2002 V6 Mustang? That is embarrassing. Embarrassing, man. You're in a sports car. Homeboy's in a base model Beamer, and you barely are keeping up. This, this oh, poor, poor fucking S2000. He's trying his heart out too. I feel bad for him because I mean, both cars looked good, but I mean, I like the S2000, and I thought he was gonna for sure just gap the shit out of this dude, but no. Nope. Sad to see. Can someone explain why this S2000 is so goddamn slow? Something's got to be wrong with it. All right, a race nobody ever thought they were going to see, but here on the Drew Peacock channel or on the Slow Car Scene car page on Instagram, this is where you're going to find it. It's a 2006 Civic versus a 96 Honda Odyssey. <laughs> yeah, I know. Quality content. Let's take a look. Now, I definitely did not fucking think the Honda Odyssey was going to take the dub. I was like, bro, Civic's got him on weight. The Civic is a little bit more sporty, if, if people dare to call it that. I mean, it's definitely more sporty than a minivan. But what is going on with these races? How are these other people winning? Look, look how fucking uninterested the flagger is. Look at him. He flags it down and then just casually walks away. Doesn't turn around to see what's going on. Doesn't give a shit because it's a minivan racing a Honda Civic. I love this page. This page just brings me so much joy. The Chevy Cruze wanted to see the action up close and personal and he chased him down. I, I bet the Chevy Cruze would have beat both of them. Maybe that's what was going on. He gave him a two car length and just Gunned it. Gave him the hit as well. Fucking Chevy Cruze, man. Bold player. Look at him. Reeling him in like a goddamn bass. Wow. Honda Odyssey, though. Sleeper, for sure. All right. We got a couple more. We got a, a Can-Am Spider F3S Trike, I guess. That's fucking F3S SM6. It sounds like a gun from Call of Duty versus a G37 exhaust only. I just want I want to see this G37 get clapped. I am. I don't like Infinities. I, I don't know. These older Infinities. just don't like them. I want to see it get clapped. Yeah. Set, go. Well, I was right. I mean, I guess in hindsight, a bike or a trike versus a car isn't really fair, but I don't know. I've never seen the race before, so I thought it was going to be a little bit closer than that, but that G37 got gapped by an old man on a motorcycle, or an old man's motorcycle, I should say. Because uh, if you're a young dude and you're riding a three-wheeler, you either better be a toddler 
or you better be fucking unable to use your legs or something. I don't know how these things function. I don't know if there's brake pedals or not, but it just doesn't seem like a, a young man's vehicle. This is for sure the uh, middle-aged man vehicle. And it fucking pulls like one. It's not like a thousand cc liter bike. I like this comment right here. Can-am, more like can-gap a G37. Looks like a fucking snowmobile. Plowed right through that G37 for sure. Just like he's about to plow through his girlfriend after he gapped him. And to that, I tip my hat. <laughs> All right, another race? You probably thought you never were gonna see, but uh, here you go. Corolla wagon versus Ford Focus. Now I like wagons, okay? When they're big and voluptuous, I love me a wagon. But these Ford Focuses, you know, I am a Ford boy. I do got myself one of them Mustangs, so. I don't know, do I go for the big juicy wagon or the, the Ford Focus? I feel like the Ford Focus would have a bigger motor or more powerful motor, so let's go with the Ford Focus. Hey, 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 I'm pretty sure I saw that fucking Corolla spray. I'm pretty sure that Corolla has like two giant tanks of nitrous because around 60 miles, around 60 miles an hour. Do you hear how slow that sounds? Around 60 miles an hour, he starts to pull away pretty quick. Look at that. He is pulling like a fucking rocket, but yeah, they're barely going 60. They're not even like breaking the speed limit. This is great. This is just the funniest thing ever, man. You see two cars going at it for like 10 seconds. He goes down and looks at the speedo and they're going fucking 60. They ain't even speeding. They're just trying to catch up to traffic. Surprised me though. I thought the Corolla was going to weigh more. I mean, he's on steelies and everything. Yeah, might be gutted. Might have two giant tanks of nitrous in the back. Not sure, but he got the dub. Gotta salute the man. Gap the shit out of that damn focus. All right, last race. We got an intake long tubes X-Pipe V6 Mustang. Blech! Versus an intake NA Miata. Let's take a look. I'm, I mean, I would assume the fucking V6 is just gonna shit all over the Miata, but let's take a look. How are you going to be in a V6 Mustang, a modded V6 Mustang, that sounds like absolute shit. It sounds like a fucking elephant with diarrhea, if I'm being honest. How are you going to be in something like that, so obnoxious, and barely beat the little 1.6 Miata by like a car length? How, how are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? You have more than double the motor size, okay? You're in a 3.7, he's in a 1.6. Do the math. And you beat him by like... A car length? Well, Drew, he's on an eighth mile. If he was on a quarter mile, it would have been more. You're right. And I bet you on a V6 as well, because nobody should be defending how bad this car sounds. <laughs> Listen to that. It sounds so bad. Jeez, it sounds like a broken 350Z, and he barely beat a 1.8. My bad, it was a 1.8. You, you still got more motor than him. Barely, but you still do. Well, if it's one thing we learned from these races, it's that none of these people are fast. And probably none of them are furious because they're just having fun. Hopefully you guys had fun watching this video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments. Go check out Slow Car Scene on Instagram. You won't be disappointed. They are very funny races. Go check them out. We'll be making more videos on them as well. Let them know that I sent you there. This isn't sponsored. I just really like the races. Anyways, guys, if you want to see more videos like this one, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and until next video, peace.